The route itself begins at Sun and Fun Motorsports in Iowa City. We typically meet there around 10 o'clock, look at some of the new model bikes that are arriving. Test rides are available on certain models. They put on a nice lunch for us. After lunch, we head out, breaking into groups and beginning the route down towards Jefferson County. Designed the route and the event in total to kind of mimic what BMW does with the GS Safari in Australia and Tasmania. I wanted it to be an adventure ride for big bikes so people can get out, get fast on some diverse terrain. We've got a lot of gravel, we've got a lot of dirt, and uh, we've got some pavement in there just to kind of link up some of the more fun sections. We do break riders into a few groups so that we allow everybody to kind of move along at a speed and a skill level that they're comfortable with. The weather can have other plans, so some sections can be muddy and it can be difficult, but overall we try to make it so that everybody should be able to complete the ride. has some really spectacular riding if you know where to look. Often the challenge is connecting one great spot to the next. That's where Dirt Orcas and this event comes in. We work really hard all winter long to make sure that we highlight the best sections from Iowa City to Jefferson County. And you're not gonna miss a lot of stuff that uh, if you were just looking at a map on your own, you may not know was there otherwise. It moves through the Amish villages of Kelowna, through the agricultural communities of Kyoto and Richland. And then we get down into Jefferson County where the route becomes a little more forested and a little more diverse, if you will. And then we ultimately end the ride at a county park where dinner and camping is available. This is all made possible by the sponsors, uh, Giant Loop, Moto, and Gerbing Heated Clothing, Sun and Fun, of course. Jefferson County Cider Works is a big sponsor of ours. And then we typically show a backcountry discovery route feature film on the outdoor screen, provide a movie and entertainment at the end of the night. So it's a pretty fun, packed day. You'll get a lot of great riding in and a lot of good camaraderie and good food. So it's worth checking out. Iowa's not the place that you might think of when you think of adventure riding. It's not Colorado, it's not Utah, it's not Alaska, it's not even the Mid-Atlantic BDR. But what it does have is an opportunity to better your riding, have a great day, and hit a lot of different diverse terrain. On this ride, you're oh, gonna see God. gravel, you're gonna see red dirt, you're gonna see sand, you're gonna see ball bearing style rock roads, uh, muddy river crossings, and uh, everything in between. So um, it's a nice way to just sometimes get a little bit of adventure on an overnight trip. Uh, it'll feel like a much bigger experience than, you know, a half day's riding and an overnight of camping, I can assure you that.
big river crossing towards the end of the ride is one of people's favorite challenges on the route. It's picturesque, it's fun to blaze through the flat stream and kind of knock some of the dirt down off your bike, but the banks on either side can be slick, and if you're not on your toes, it can be pretty challenging to get in and out of that creek crossing. When you're riding with a group of experienced riders and some novice riders, it can also mean different skill levels from the people who want to do 90 down the dirt roads and chase Toby Price in their mind to the people who are genuinely there on their first time off-road. Uh, we've had all different kinds of people experiences, experience levels on this route. So when you do come through, know that we will do our best to match you with the team and with a group of experienced riders that match your skill level. So everybody will have the opportunity to have fun. One of the highlights of the evening, of course, is always the screening of the latest Backcountry Discovery Route documentary film. These are feature-length films. We show them on an outdoor movie screen. Uh, there's typically a campfire nearby, and it's a great way to stay in touch with what that nonprofit is doing and all the hard work that they put into building these routes that are available for free and that are some of the best adventure riding available around the United States.